let's take a look at how to interact with Workbench. So all you have to do is just go on the bottom and ask it for whatever task you want to produce. It's important though that you have templates or stories that can produce those types of tasks. So here on the left hand side, you'll see that Google Calendar has this green radio button, Slack, Tines, and Virus Total. And if I click into any of these, I'll see what templates or actions that it can produce, as well as what credential I have set up. And then up here in the templates, there's also the stories that I have access to. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. But since I know Virus Total is plugged in, let me go ahead and ask it to check Virus Total. So I'm just going to ask it to check Virus Total to see if GameStop is a malicious site. It's going to give me this little prompt, so I'm going to confirm it's trying to use this template right here. And it looks like it is a harmless website. So I'm going to go ahead and create a case with this information. Create a case based on this investigation we started around GameStop. All right, so here it's going to go ahead and create a case. I'm going to go ahead and confirm. So it's formatting the data based on our chat, and then it's trying to execute the task that I'm requesting. Here it's even given me a link so I can go and check it out and assign the case to me. I can click on this output if I want to see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and confirm. And we can see from here, after updating the case, we can do all sorts of other things. If we wanted to create a calendar invite to check it out in like an hour or send a Slack message, essentially any of the systems that you're plugging into stories dedicated for Workbench, you'll be able to then access from Workbench. On the left-hand side here, we can see all the templates that I currently have enabled as well as stories that I have enabled. The stories are going to be accessible based on your team. So any stories that are on your team that are set to share with Workbench. And then the templates are a growing library that you can connect and activate. We'll take a look a little bit more in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me and we hope to see you next time.